Yeah. All right. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, <laughs> not much. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it's our third and final day here in Astoria. That's yeah. kind of sad, huh? Yeah, it is sad. Because <laughs> we're just we're just starting to starting to get to the to the vacation here, and all of a sudden, now we're on the last day already. Yeah. But you know, I guess to say that there are brighter days to come, I guess that would be an understatement. But luckily, since this documentary turned out so well, we can always, if we ever get blue, we can always uh, <laughs> look back on this yep. <laughs> with fond memories and warm hearts. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So where are we going today? Uh, we're going <laughs> to that. Uh, so why are we going up this hill here? That's <laughs> very steep. Is that column building? Astoria Column? Yeah, Astoria That's right. Column. Yeah. Should we go up the flight of steps? <laughs> yeah, might as well. Yeah, might as well. That might be a, an easier way to get up there, probably. Because, uh, I mean, we're really... But you could go right through here. I think it's safe, anyway. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. How nice that is. As long as I don't get killed or anything. Like, clean you up like roadkill. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe hillbilly style, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty nice around here. We were able to exchange that Stand By Me shirt, which I really, really liked. It was a very nice shirt. But the problem was, it was a lady's shirt. And I didn't realize that until I tried it on. It said large, I'm just like, say large, it's like small. <laughs> I was gonna have Mike try it on, but then it's like, wait a minute, is this a lady? <laughs> and Mike's, Mike's like, yeah. It's like, Mike, why, why did you have me get a lady shirt? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> and Mike's like, that wasn't my idea, that was your idea. And we argue back and forth, and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And we gotta have a little dra dramatization to it. So, we're gonna go up this hill here. We're going to go down to Astoria, up to, I should say, up to Astoria Column. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Whew, I feel like I'm on breath already. Where's my, where's my inhaler? <laughs> Mike, I think I'm out of breath. I think we need to go to EMT. <laughs> I'm having an asthma attack. I know I should make fun of that stuff, but... Wow. Oh. I think somebody's trying to call us. Who is it? Hello. Uh, th this is Michael. Oh, it sounds like Sean, or it sounds like. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I'm not saying, did you want to talk to him real quick? Okay. Hello? <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. Oh, that's no problem. I was kind of wondering, you know. It's like, oh, did you give me a prank number? <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's fine. Cause we'll be, we'll probably be at. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be at the, the at the hotel by that time or whatever later on tonight. It's not a big deal. We, we're just probably gonna be probably go to bed probably around midnight because we gotta be up early tomorrow to to take off. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good. We'll see you a little later tonight then. All right. Bye. <laughs> she talks pretty fast, so. Yeah, it's like, whoa, slow down. <laughs> it's like, what <laughs> does a yellow <laughs> light do? Slow, slow down. down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anybody know that one, that, that scene? Uh, I'll give you a guess. Christopher Lord's in that one. <laughs> so anyway, take out your camera, Mike. Take a couple pictures. I mean, this is like history of the making. That that was a surprise person that uh, possibly we're going to become visiting with myself and Michael a little later tonight. Uh, hopefully I didn't give it too much away. I think I already said the name, but uh, by the time that this documentary is done or we render it and everything, well, you already have known anyway. So I guess I'm pretty good at ruining surprises. 
That sucks, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, that's good that you called anyway. Or, you know, oh, I should say the person called anyway. And uh, hopefully we'll get to we'll get to meet. You know? If not, well, at least we tried anyway. Because <laughs> I want to get this all rendered and up before we leave so it's all done so I don't have to worry about it. They got so they got fast internet here, so it's just like it's good to take care, take a you know advantage of it rather than wait until we get home and then have to deal with slow internet and render the quality to even a shittier quality. And I hate doing that, so at least here I don't have to do that. Anyway, so we're almost up to the column here. Look how steep these steps are. We're we're it looks like San Francisco, even though we're not in San Fran, but we still got all this way to go up. And I'm hoping we're in the right area. <laughs> So, anyway, we'll see you when we get up to the column. Oh, I think we found our trail there, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> and this is the one that we, everybody was talking about. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we don't get ate up by bears or anything like that. <clears throat> or by mooses or anything. Or, or sea lions. Oh, yeah. That looks like it's about right. I thought the trail was a little bit longer, but I guess it just leads up to leads up to it. <sighs> nice view. <laughs> it's like they're basically teasing us more or less. <laughs> We go up here, there's nothing up here. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, like we said, it'll be a lot easier to go down. <laughs> Maybe I'll have just a, a stairway that'll go down. Oh. Hubba bubba. Okay. <laughs> I knew she was fooling with us. Well, probably not. I think we were getting close. But in okay. Yeah, we could just took the steps. <laughs> Looks like there might be a trail over right there that goes up there, but but we want to see where we can where we can find it. No, no, there's no way. Oh, what? What? The, the story of column disappears when people people go up and look for it. You can see it from afar, but when you go up there, that that disappears. <laughs> Oh, well, should we go to college at least? <laughs> en enroll ourselves into like the fine arts? Do <laughs> they have any radio courses over here? Oh. Columbia. Oh, this is for the class. Well, we are at the class cup or class yeah, stop. We said that. Pretty pretty college. Okay. Well, we are here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a big figure to point at, but right now, I have some squishes, so my figure right here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Doesn't say anything about the column here, but does say a lot about uh, about the college, though, where we're at today. It's kind of neat, you know. College. So, yeah, so do you remember at all what the lady was saying at all? Where we go next? How about you get up here? <laughs> there was like a college. Yeah. So. Well, there is a trail that goes up there. We should probably try that. 
because maybe that will go up there. Because I mean, we gotta be able to see it here from here by now. It's a tall building, but it's not that tall. I mean, you'd be able to see it if the school was out of the way. You'd probably be able to see it here or see it over there or whatever. But well, let's go down here and yeah. go up. Well, yeah, because I think this is like a dead zone anyway, dead end. And we'll keep on, keep it on, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know, we'll let you know when we get up there. It's just that I've been up there before, but I just kind of forgot my way of where. <laughs> and I told Mike I remember where everything was at. I kind of just lied to him. Yeah. <laughs> Shows that you can trust a good friend, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, well. Whoops. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's, it's okay. All, all right. Uh, that, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> all right. Oh my, <laughs> we actually made it. <laughs> yeah, Can you believe it? I thought I thought we were about ready to die at first, you know. But here, we actually went up that that trail, the one that I was told about a long time ago, four years ago, and I finally found which one she was talking about. Just by the Clats, uh, Clap Stop, uh, Clad Stop uh, Community College, anyway. That's all it was. <laughs> And now, we are here. Whew. Sorry for being out of breath, but it's not like I run, I do this every day or anything, so bear with me. I was going to say this kind of looks like a shape or something, but I won't, say, I won't go into that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll see where we get up the hill. Well, Mike, after, we, after, we made yeah, it. after a hell of a hellacious walk, we made it. What do you think? <laughs> Tired out. Yeah, we could, we could use a a healthy sandwich, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh well. It's a nice day. We'll sweat it out. You know. And we'll ride this car with this guy. <laughs> well, hope we didn't get no poison ivy at all. <laughs> no, hopefully not. I don't think we did. I think we just, just scratched ourselves for no reason, just because we feel like there's something biting us. But, <laughs> oh well. We went down that up that hiking trail and all. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was steep. I think it's just to pay to park. I think at Tomlin's Visitor Center, which is right here. Anyway, so we made it. Like the true good as we are. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, all right, Mike, I guess, as they say, this is the moment of truth, or dare, or whatever. <laughs> We're going to go up this thing. <laughs> Do you think we can make it? <laughs> I think we can. Uh, are, are we sure we're not crazy and we belong in the mental institution? <laughs> I'm just going. To, you know how much walking we've done today? Just the last two hours. <laughs> we've done a lot of walking. Today. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not even tired. You're like, oh, I'm just. It just affected me a pinch. You know? <laughs> just a, just a pinch. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I think we we should control our tough side or our, our goofy side or whatever. But look how nice this view is, though. First of all, look. See how nice it is over here. Oh, nice. Gotta take it all in before we go up there, you know. Nice as ri lake looks, river, big old river. It's nice to see some of these mountains too from afar. Hey, there. Look, there's some names on here too. I just noticed. Oh, really? You're stepping on people. We're stepping on people. Don't step on a crack <laughs> or anybody. Oh, geez. <laughs> like, what do we do? <laughs> Must be people that donated, or probably what it was, because it, yeah. I mean, it sounds like there's a million people on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get up there, follow these peace people. They'll be our tour guides. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Lassie. <laughs> Lassie came home back to that store. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're over there is a nice view over there. I suppose we can't see the Goonie House from here. Probably not. No. <laughs> not until we get up there. <laughs> then we'll be able to. All right. Huh. Hey. Oh, you go ahead, Mike. Oh, jeez. This is great. 
Can we just stay here, Mike? Can we just live here? <laughs> Look out, hey, first before we go out there. Look at this. Look out. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. No. No, nothing, nothing's better than the fresh smell of cigarettes. <laughs> I can't even hear what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Don't worry, Mike. You're not gonna fall. I got, I got you. <laughs> oh, there is no. Oh, there is no uh, railway on the other side. Okay, I see. You're okay. Sorry. No, I'm. We'll take a quick breather here. <laughs> How do you like the acoustics in here? <laughs> oh, and we're right up here. Oh. Wow. I didn't realize this way stuff was on. Right. Go ahead. I'll catch if you fall. <laughs> Smells like cigarette smoke. <laughs> Just more reasons to stay healthy, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I hate to fall from all the way over here, you know? I hope you're not afraid of heights. <laughs> okay. Are they all counting? That's what it says, how many steps of it. That's what that is, okay. Wow, so we're up to 123 or <laughs> I'm getting out of breath already, boy. Thank God you didn't bring anybody else over. <laughs> oh, we'll go back down. Yeah, no problem. We're almost there. <sighs> <laughs> I can see the sun. There's sky out there. Whew. 144. <laughs> what a workout. I'm surprised I don't have a six pack right now. Jeez. <sighs> Sixty-four steps. Hundred sixty-four steps. Oh. Get it out to the parking lot. Well, right. We made it. <laughs> to the view down. Wow. That's a good one. Oh, what do you think, Mike? You have breath yet? No, not at all. I'm, I'm physically fit. <laughs> yeah, not me. 
Whew. Well, look. Wow. Get down. Yeah. Now. That's not one for. Yeah. Well, those boats uh, seem not so far away from here, huh? <laughs> well, the ships, anyway. Well, everybody, this is the Astoria Column, and this is probably, well, it's probably one of the most craziest adventures we've gone on <laughs> since we started doing this, but, but it's nice that we can finally go up here and see everything, because you know, the people that were talking about this place and all that stuff are definitely right, you know, that you can definitely see a lot of what you normally couldn't see just on the ground or whatever. Of course, the hill doesn't even look like a hill anymore. It looks more like a, just a flat, flat land or whatever. Oh. So what do you think, Mike? Probably be a good time to take your camera out. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Take it all in, my friend. Take it all in. A trail here that we can actually go down. We're not going to be going up. We're going to be going down this time. It's a tree trail. It's either right here. I'm hoping that we can just go right here because it's more wide open. That this would lead somewhere. And it looks like it might lead somewhere. But again, maybe it won't. <laughs> and for my luck, as I've been so lucky lately. That is probably just a little. How does it look like a trail? This. Yeah, that's a. Nope. I think that other one is a tree trail, though. Oh. So what do you think of Astoria Column? <laughs> like, that was really cool outside, <laughs> especially with the 165 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, you know, I thought we were going to need our inhalers, but you know what? We didn't. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we managed. And I think we might try this little trail as long as it's a nice trail, not a scary trail like before. <laughs> this is the Richard Fensick Tree Trail, so it looks like it might be pretty safe. Might be all right. I think this is the one tree trail that leads right to the Goonie House, I believe, because I think we're really close to it. So we'll give it a shot here and see what we can do. It looks like it leads somewhere anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, it just goes down the hill. <laughs> oh, we can go this way, we can go this way. <laughs> we'll go down this way here. This is an actual trail. This is, uh, I don't, no, if the one that we went up was actually considered a real, a real trail or not, but but I think this one's the one that's actually a, like registered in the park and everything. It's called the tree trail. Well, no kidding. <laughs> and it's nice around here. Don't be around poison ivy and everything, yeah? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. A little poison ivy makes, makes a man. Healthy and wise. <laughs> and very red. <laughs> and itchy. And itchy. So you're like, son of an itchy. <laughs> Instead of son of a, you know, whatever else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anyway. So overall, we've had such a good time. I mean, this is our last day. So this is the last uh, part of our documentary. So not, it's not the last thing that we're highlighting, but we're still going to go to the Maritime Museum, but I think what we might do, if this leads to where I think it's going to lead, we'll probably go get something to eat first, because <laughs> I know I'm getting hungry. Mike, you get an appetite yet? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay, we have a burrito. <laughs> uh, a three-bean burrito. <laughs> All the beans you can handle. <laughs> Matzo beans, garbanzo beans, <laughs> baked beans, pork beans, musical fruit here. <laughs> That's why they call it the musical fruit. Anyway. <laughs> the more you eat, the more you toot. <laughs> Here I am making fart jokes while we're on a <laughs> film a documentary. Yeah. Pretty nice though. To be one with wildlife, to be one with nature. Where's the park ranger? <laughs> yeah. He got his four wheeler? Or his ranger? 
Oh yeah. Well, you know, as they, as they say, it's better to go up than to go down. Or, I mean, better to go down than to yeah. go up. Which is definitely true. Because at least this will lead, hopefully, somewhere good anyway. So anyway, if we don't die, we'll we'll see you in another part here. <laughs> All right, see you a little bit. Oh, there's somebody coming up here. Excellent. We're not the only ones. <laughs> yeah. Yay! So uh, we could have the rest of it. So we we built trailers and we built <laughs> forts and oh and, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had some guys down in Tillamook. I got a house down there and. Uh, they took it and okay. took what we didn't use, and, sure. and uh, that's what he does. He builds bridges. Wow. And my oldest son, for his senior <laughs> project, built a bridge. Just if you, you probably wanted to poke your way down that way on that yeah, side. Yeah. If you go down there, you'll see his bridge. Okay. This is another senior project that never really worked out. Okay. It was always a wet area here. Wow. And so these seniors brought their off-road Three wheelers up here with well, gravel cool. and stuff in these. It's just nice to see other people come down here because I thought we were going to get lost. <laughs> I mean, because it's a trail and we 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 didn't really see anybody until we first saw well, well we saw some kids and then now we see you. So <laughs> yeah, well that's you know that's that story for you. I mean it's, yeah. Uh, you, know, you kind of look like a Steven right. Spielberg look like uh, with your gray beard and everything. Or your, oh yeah, <laughs> especially the way he looks now. Beard a month ago. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I kept having little kids <laughs> staring at me, and I'd ask their parents, "What's up with that?" And yeah. I, I finally, you know, I got used to it. But they said they're waiting for you to have them sit on your lap and <laughs> tell you what they want for Christmas. Like, okay. Tell well, they <laughs> they'll tell you. I don't know. I'm kind of not really. <laughs> they'll tell you they want the goodies on Blu-ray. That's right. <laughs> So you guys are, are you're, you're going to actually do a documentary again? We've actually been doing this documentary since we got here on uh -huh. Wednesday. We've already put up three hours and 15 minutes of footage already online already. Really? It's just a daily. a lot of my old drawings and stuff like that from when I did designs for them. Really? Yeah, they had God, to you do be some posters with the skull on it. <laughs> the skull and crossbones with really? the knees on it, yeah. Huh. They, they wanted those for some of the local theaters to put up in their okay. marquee to type. Well, that's kind of interesting, though. I mean, yeah, it was it was always interesting to see what they wanted next. They even wanted uh, men's and women's signs for the the outhouses, yeah, the porta potties, yeah, and, yeah. And then they had uh, they had me do the directors' chairs with the the, the actors' names uh -huh. across the back. Oh, the one fellow that was the fellow that got dropped by. Mrs. Fertilli, I can't, that they had chained up. Oh, a sloth. Sloth, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Do sloth on one of them. Oh wow. And I don't remember the other names I put on. So who are you again now? What's your What's your name? I'm Dan. Dan, yeah. okay. Dan, yeah. the set designer, <laughs> or or well, kind of what? Yeah, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. I just, or just did a lot of their grunt work that okay. the other art people wanted to do. I guess. Okay. So, Oh, that's cool. Though. I had people coming up to me asking me, "So you work for uh, Disney Studios?" I go, "No, <laughs> <laughs> I just live here in town." And, oh yeah. And uh, one of the oh, he was one of the guys that was a, a shuttle crew. Yeah. He was a, a driver, I guess you'd call a chauffeur. Sure. But uh, he told me about. It. He says they're really they're really looking for people with any kind of art talent. And I I'd done a lot of graphic arts in the area. And so, so have you done anything else for any movie-wise at all? Or? Uh, short Circuit. Yeah, okay. I, I did some of the set work on that this one. This guy has never seen that movie yet. <laughs> oh, is that right? And, and my, yeah, totally uh, my, lost. My, my son was telling me, uh, what is it, Barney or something like that is an offshoot of it. Okay. Where they've got the robot on I, I don't. It's not Barney, but, uh, uh, but they named the robot. Like Johnny Five. The, yeah, the, was, for, uh, for Five the, Alive was, was, yeah. was the one that was in that, but then they've done a spin-off, like a sequel or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Short Circuit too. That was in New York. Well, was, yeah, there's one because one of the gals in one of my classes up at the college, she, her, one of her kids, I think the five-year-old, didn't want to go see it because she was scared and oh, there really? robot in it. How can you be scared, Johnny Five? <laughs> I actually yeah. wanted one of those little robots that they were making, a, like a little uh, scale of it or whatever, yeah. of Johnny Five. And I think mostly in part two, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. First yeah. one, it was more just, you know, 
we went to their house because we were the lamp lighter is just like right down below to where the the house is a short circuit anyway. <laughs> so One that's of the pretty fellows cool. that I I work with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I worked on the house that they, they filmed it in. Is that nobody living there right now? It says I private. I don't know. I haven't been up it there. It says private you know, with property. That slide but down yeah, through there, yeah. I just avoid that area if I can. Okay, yeah. But one of the fellows I work with, I was raising crickets with my kids, and uh, he had a bunch of, he had a whole collection of lizards and snakes and so sure. forth. And uh, the people he was renting the house from with his new bride said that uh, we need the house yeah i hate to kick you out we're not kicking you out but if you're out of here by the end of the month yeah we'll give you x amount of dollars which was just an absorbent amount of money. oh yeah says, I suppose. we'll be out of here oh hell yeah so uh <laughs> they moved into the goonie house okay so Jeez. yeah I, I actually hung out over there quite a bit when i when i went over there with crickets for them and Jeez. you know visited but yeah it was it was quite a happening uh then there was the Ninja Turtles. That they yeah, yeah, there. Turtles I 3. I never actually worked for them, but okay. I, I, uh, when, when their sets were torn down, I, I, what, I got a lot of the, the materials that they built them with yeah. and built things out of them. So, here. so what do you think of the uh, film museum? Have you been there yet? At all? I haven't. Oh, you haven't yet? Jeez, I figured you'd, you'd be, that'd be the first place you'd go. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of one cool of the stuff there. I work for here in town. He's he's long gone, but okay. he's here for years. He's got a display down there in the Elliott Hotel's window, right next yeah. to Deals Only. Okay. Arvid Wunala. Okay. He was an old Finnish man, and he was pretty crippled up, and he wanted somebody that did the old, you know, saber brush. Yeah. Lettering. Yeah. And so I'd kind of dinked around with that and done some airbrushing and whatnot. Oh wow. And he had me do some work with him, and then. <laughs> his wife passed away. And, yeah, but uh, he's got to display some of his work there. He oh, sure. Did a lot of the neon san signs. And, yeah, not many of my signs have survived around here. That oh, I've oh, it's so nice. So I mean, I like I like nature. It's like you know, we try to look for as many trails as we can. You know, and see, we're from northern Minnesota. Are you? Yeah, we took oh. the Amtrak. <laughs> oh, I used to boundary water canoe oh. up there all okay. the time. See the moose. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're in our area. It's pretty, but you gotta go really out like in the middle of nowhere to see the prettiness. It's you know, flat we'd land. We'd be out and, there for weeks on end, and, yeah. we, and with nothing but our canoes, and hardly see anybody. And we'd yeah. come back, and the first little outboard motor that you'd you'd smell, it was just nauseating. Oh yeah, smell I'm sure. After being out, <laughs> we were dipping our cups over the edge and drinking out of the lake. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's just awesome in Minnesota. I, it's uh, well, like you know, it, it's it's okay, but you got. I mean, we got a lot, a lot of nice things. But where we live, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm sick of seeing the same old stuff all the time. But that's why I come to places like this to see something well, that's different. Great. <laughs> I well, love where I live, but it just I like it here a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to put down my hometown or anything. It just you know. no. What's your hometown? Name? Uh, Greenbush, Minnesota. Greenbush. Roseau yeah. County. This is uh, probably 10 or 15 miles from the Canadian border. Oh, okay. So, so we Winnipeg. Really about. are right up Oh, yeah. There. Where yeah. it gets so cold outside. And we always blizzard. manage to skirt Duluth up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can see all the, the plumes of everything coming up yeah. in the air. It's just like, ah, we don't yeah. need to go in there. So how cold does it normally get around here? Oh, it doesn't get too awful cold. I think it's gotten down to zero a few times in the. And that's where everybody shuts down their stores and everything, and like panics. Or whatever. Actually, uh, <laughs> if you shuts came from up here, yeah. it's an awesome hill for the kids with their their. Oh yeah, I would I would their, love to take uh, that too. And yeah, their sleds. Yeah, and, yeah. We used to just have a blast when my. Kids I suppose were nobody like does snowmobiles around here because I suppose there's nah, no use to. Not like it. out in the Midwest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. No need for it here. Well, actually, out in eastern Oregon, yeah. Yeah. You know, kind of like almost being in Wyoming. Sure. But, yeah, when it it drifts and snows, that's about the only way to get around. <laughs> Your dog really likes the, the... Oh, she likes... She eats the, the grass. See, she oh, really? The grass, and then it gets caught in her throat. Oh, okay. She, but she I noticed is, that she was like rolling around in the dirt and everything. Oh, she, she just, loves to roll. Wow. She's... I've never, never been around a dog that likes to roll as much as her. She's and funny. Then your other dog, was it like a little Eskimo dog or wolf uh, dog or he something? He is uh, a Parsons Jack Russell. Oh, yeah. Chubbs would love him. He turned, <laughs> turned 16 here a couple months okay. ago. Wow, so, so he's, he's up he's, there at age, he's huh? He's been around here for a lot. Yeah, he grew up in these woods up here, oh. too. 
pretty good looking dog for being 16. Yeah, he's he's getting along okay. Like so he's 60 like in, in human years. Yeah, human okay. years. Yeah, wow. we got him when he was 2 at the animal shelter. Here. So how old would that make him now? He'd probably be Well, he was 60 four, or 70. He'd be four, or, we've had him for 14 years. Okay. But I'm talking dog years. Is it like a, a, every seven years or something well, like that? Well, you're or? good with math. You take, yeah, <laughs> I, I guess suck they at math. say seven, seven <laughs> yeah. times whatever the human years are. Wow. So he be our he could be our grandfather, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's getting on. All right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool though. Yeah. Well, it's well, nice to meet you anyway, and you know, thanks well, for you, guys you know. Too. Hey. You are. I'm Sean Slauson. Sean. <laughs> yeah. If you go on YouTube. Michael, All if you right. if you go on YouTube, you can check this out. It's called the Road Back to Astoria Oregon documentary. Oh, okay. The Road Back to Astoria. Yeah, that's what I call it because I've been here once before, and I never had a chance to film here the last time. So, because uh, I didn't have a camera then, I just had a regular Kodak develop uh, digital camera or whatever that turned out <laughs> to be kind of a crappy camera in the first place. Well, there's something to be said with years. Huh? Yeah. How you get a little bit better yeah. technology. I think $85 on this Toshiba camera oh, was really? good. Yeah. I mean, remember how it used to be back in the day, and maybe even how they made the, the movie The Goonies with the big old cameras and stuff? Yeah. Now you can record something just as good on something small like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, my sons are forever whipping out their little cell phones. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Taking little little short videos and... <laughs> Oh, well, cool. It's what? definitely fun to run into to people in here. <laughs> well, run into pretty much anybody if you can. Have you seen any wildlife, though, other than birds? Uh, because the eagles float over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, I, well, probably on our way here, we saw, like, buffalo and stuff, but that's, like, through Montana yeah. and stuff, and elk and yeah. everything. Well, but, when you get down towards the cathedral tree, that gets into squirrel. Oh, okay. So we got to hide our nuts, sir. Yeah, yeah. Just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> All right. Well, good talking to you. All right, Sean. Hopefully we'll yeah. see you again sometime. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, have a good one. Say, Mike, are we lost? <laughs> uh, I thought we were at first, but now we're on the right track. I hope, or, I hope we see if, uh, humans or people here soon yeah. or a town or something. I figured we'd go down this trail because it looked like a cool little trail, right? A yep. small trail, not a big trail. Where are we? <laughs> We're just still like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> help! Help! Bees! They're everywhere. <laughs> I mean, wow. <laughs> we could have just took the easy way and took the road, but yeah. no, Mike had to just take the trip. <laughs> yeah, that was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You weren't supposed to tell me. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yo. Anyway, so we're trying to get to town here you know we're still in astoria oregon this is just like a nice little trail mike said oh i want to be one with the nature so <laughs> it's like oh well let's show you a trail down here <laughs> i hope you're happy now mike yeah. <laughs> yeah i guess we're having our own little goody adventure here is what we're having well it seems like anyway but pretty cool nonetheless nevertheless so yeah we're almost to shore i, I hope well literally almost to shore <laughs> so okay Hope you guys enjoyed so far. We're almost done. Hell, Mike, I think we made it. We did. <laughs> what do you think of that trail? Uh, pretty long, huh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. How do you think mile-wise? Like at least a good mile and a half, at least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am so hungry right now. I could eat this sign right here. <laughs> it's made of, like a metal or whatever. <laughs> that would taste too good, huh? No. So where are we now? Do we know? I think the guy said, okay, because there you go, okay, the yeah, Richard Friends site. We're on that, uh, Ivory Green Street. Or, or Irving Street. Or Irving Street. Or Irving Street. Yeah. So, but which way should we go to actually go where we're supposed to be? That's the question, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> you go that way, I'll go this way. If we meet right in the middle, I'll wait for you. <laughs> wow. Totally lost. Do you have your compass with you? Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't have a compass. You don't have a compass? I thought you had a compass. You told me on this trip before we go on this adventure that you had a compass. Uh, and you had binoculars and you had a uh, can or a uh, canteen and then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making up shit as I go along. Oops. <laughs> I cussed. Oh well. <laughs> I think. Well, let's see. Can you look? Well, can you see it? There. Okay, does this look familiar at all down there at all? 
or up the hill or <laughs> don't get killed here. It's pretty cool though to actually see all this stuff here. I mean, to see how far the trail actually goes and from where we were anyway. So I think what we'll do is we'll just take a chance and we'll go down here. Hopefully that's right anyway. And if it isn't, I'm sure there's an extra way we can go. So let's go. Let's keep going. <laughs> Very beautiful, I gotta say, for this town of Astoria. This, these are uh, stuff that we've never seen before, and I never got to see the last time I was here. Because when I went to Astoria Column, it wasn't, it was just getting remodeled, or so they couldn't actually go through it like we can now. Pretty nice house here. Maybe we'll just live here, Mike. <laughs> we'll, we'll just move right in. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so hungry, I think we, uh, I think we see a, a, a garden snake, I think. <laughs> Mike was uh, pretty scared. <laughs> I was too. Thought it wasn't going to attack us or whatever. <laughs> Anaconda or whatever. Anyway, so we're going to go where we can go and uh, hopefully we'll, the next place will be before we go to the Maritime Museum, which we will still go there. But uh, we're going to stop and eat somewhere first. <laughs> What time do you got, by the way? I don't know. It's almost 4 o'clock. Our time. So it's 2 o'clock, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Our, on our last day here. Yeah. <laughs> you think this is probably the most adventurous day, probably? Oh, yeah. As far as uh, where we've gone and on Irving Street. Yep. Here. Okay. Well, we'll keep on trucking because we're a bunch of mother truckers. <laughs> as we all say. Well, let's see. Yeah. What are... Okay. All right, Mike. Well, we're almost we we're, we're back into real life anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we actually see humans and people and everything. I don't know why I call them humans, but whatever. Uh, I think we found a, a movie house here. It says historical landmark, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be, but I'm not really a big fan of this movie. But I, I haven't even watched it yet, but I should. If you guys know, is this the is this the Free Willy house right here? It looks like it could be. Just because I, I, it kind of looks familiar, like that it could be, and the fact that it says historical landmark on it. So I figured I'd show you guys that we're almost ready to go to. We're gonna go to Safeway and have something to eat. I figured that'd be a lot better. They make good, they make excellent sandwiches over there. <laughs> and then we're gonna go hit up the Maritime Museum for one last big thing, and then uh, we'll end the documentary in a special, special way. Either with the well, either with the surprise guest or a uh, way that Mike and I was thinking it would be kind of cool with, uh, you know, well, we won't say, but <laughs> until we get to that part. Anyway, so here we are, Free Willy House, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to Google it. Google it, I guess. <laughs> That's a big word to say. Google. Yeah, Google. Anyway, it sounds like gargle. <laughs> yeah, gargle. We're gonna go Google some mouthwash here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. We'll see you in a little bit. Oh, what's up, Mike? Not much. <laughs> Where are we now? At Safeway. Yeah, I hope people have heard of Safeway before. <laughs> Must be a big chain or something. It's not like Hugo's or anything or Duds or whatever out here, but it's kind of like, it's kind of similar, kind of, but uh, finally a chance to eat, huh? <laughs> After our long 400 mile walk here. But how do you feel after that walk? Good. Very, but do you feel kind of tired though? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. This will give us our strength back. <laughs> then we'll get to go see the Mu Maritime Museum next. So that should be exciting. Yep. And we still got to get your mom a present for Mother's Day. Yeah. So you got to start thinking of some ideas there, Mike. Because she's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, well, we'll enjoy our, our meal. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> well. Like, why are we still out of breath? <laughs> yeah. or, well, you're not, but I am, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably a reason for that. You know why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to that King Iron Cop house. And that house is? Right here. <laughs> right here. there. Because oh. I knew it's on 4th and Exchange Street because we're, from where we're staying at the Lamplighter, it's like real close anyway so this is it this is uh, because it's on the cars outside and everything yeah this is it 
I remember this very well. Nice little neighborhood over here. So now we've seen pretty much all the houses, uh, the main houses anyway. But this is the one where uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's girlfriend, who he met at the school or whatever, where he uh, hung out and stuff. The actual real place too. That's actually the movie. The only thing that's different about it is that, yeah, as you see all these antennas and stuff. Remember the scene where he was climbing, where Dynamite was trying to climb a water, or the antenna or whatever, yep. a radio tower. Well, that doesn't even exist. They did that somewhere. Either they did that somewhere else, or, or that was just a prop for, for the movie. Because here, you can see the house is fine. You can see the backyard, but I think the yard was a lot bigger. I think. Yeah, in the movie, as far as I, as far as I recall, anyway, but I think it's pretty cool that I don't know where it says historical landmark, but I'm sure it, you'll see it somewhere. Oh, Hello. <laughs> must be somebody that lives over here. You see anywhere where it says historical landmark? Oh, it's be right by the other house there. But this is a, this is a house. Now I don't know if it looks exactly like it does inside or like inside the, where the movie was filmed, but I do know that this is the exact location, though. So, so what do you think, Mike? You're here. Uh, you're a part of Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, you were only what, probably one years old, or probably a little baby when the movie was being filmed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but now you're 22 years old and oh, yeah. on your well, kind of on your own, and you hang out with me, and <laughs> yep. now you get to see it in person. <laughs> so I hope you get a lot of pictures. <laughs> yeah, I already got a picture. Oh right well, here. excellent. Now we need a picture of us over here. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll turn off the camera, and uh, this is going to be the the next scene that you see us at. Uh, the next place will be where we're filming our final scene of the documentary. Can you believe this is, we're pretty much done? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> end of the vacation, the end of the documentary. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. I hope everybody likes what I've done, you know, and what, well, what we've done. It's not just my project, it's his pro Mike's project, too. Yep. We're not getting paid, but and I wish we had some sponsors or whatever, but... Goonies can just sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> and Pepsi. Oh, Please, yeah. Pepsi, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, uh, the, the last scene's going to be kind of a special surprise. It's not what I thought was going to happen, so we had to we had to make something up pretty much, but uh, I think this will be just as good. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the, in the last scene. Bye-bye. Well, Mike, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> not much. So, well, we reached the, the point where we were finally, this is the last part of our documentary. Can you believe it? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Do you look out and you see cool things over here? You know? Kind of nice. You hear the sea, or sea lions? <laughs> I don't know what they're chatting about. Do you know what they're talking about? Uh, no. They keep on talking all the time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, this is our last time over here. Probably be last time, probably for good, probably. <laughs> Because I don't know, you know, who knows where the future leads for both of us. But we kind of have a good idea in a way what what we're gonna do when we come back or when we get back to back to home anyway. But uh, this was, you know, you, you gotta realize that this was like a, you know, this whole trip idea and this whole vacation thing was we didn't just plan this yesterday. I mean, this this happened. This took months and took a lot of work and convincing and you know we had to convince. Well, he had to convince his parents. To, to let him go, I had to talk to his parents, you know, just to let him, you know, to make sure that he could go, and it worked out pretty well. My parents, on the other hand, well, I just pretty much told him I was going to go, you know, just because. I mean, I'm 28, so yeah. But I don't know. I mean, whether they were for me or against me, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, I came anyway, and we had a good time, and they got they're getting some pretty cool presents uh, when we get back, so I think it makes it worth it. And even uh, Mike got a surprise for his mom. I'm not going to say what. He's not going to say what, but uh, I hope you like us there, Stacy. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be watching, obviously. Yeah. So, first of all, I want you to thank your parents for letting you come. <laughs> well, first off, I just want to thank my parents for letting me go on this trip, and I also want to thank Darren, our boss, for letting me and you go on this trip. 
Do you think it was life changing, just like we were talking about? <laughs> I mean, life changing, like you know, the fact that you did this on your own, like you did this by yourself. Well, I mean, we're together, but I mean, we but we did this without anybody else. You know? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. You know? And anybody else? I want to thank Carrie. <laughs> yeah, thank Carrie too for letting us go. Because you know, she she's also kind of like, well, Darren's the the head boss, but Carrie's like the the second boss kind of or the head housekeeper or whatever of our job at the hotel. But uh, and then you know you gotta thank your brother Cody for just being cool and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, I'm sure he would love to come here, but I'm pretty sure. Hello, we just do a little filming. <laughs> Oh really? Oh okay. Oh jeez. I suppose you live just right over here. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Oh wow. Oh, he said we could walk into his property, so that's pretty cool. Way up top there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can't really see it. But anyway, back to what we were talking about. So. Well, I suppose I, I can say some thank yous at all. Thank my parents for letting me, well, obviously I, I came anywhere, but just thank mom and dad for just being cool and, and uh, you know, I couldn't do it without you guys, but although I did all this by myself, but I didn't help with his parents, but, uh, and just thank all the people that were b behind us and all that for making this happen and letting us, uh, you know, experience this for me for the second time, for you the first time, and so I'm going to ask you then, Mike, your top five favorite parts of the whole vacation now, not just being here, but the whole trip, ex you know, itself. What's your f top five favorite okay, moments? My top, my top favorite so is, number one. is the Rose Garden. Okay, number two. Was the Goon House. Okay, number and three. Number three is that kindergarten top school down there. Okay, number four. And number four, then, um, say the Oregon Film Museum, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then number five. And then uh, was that column? Astoria number column. Number yeah, that was quite the adventure today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a lot of steps. It was like 165. Or well, was. not just that though, but I mean the fact that uh, I mean we had a crazy adventure. We were trying to find the place yeah. first of all, and if we would have been smart and listen to people, you know, and just took the, the right road, you know. Here we went up these trails and everything, and I got all red and all sunburnt and stuff, and normally I don't get sunburnt, but I don't think it has to do with the sun. I think it's just the fact that I was just in the trees and maybe just a little allergic reaction because we don't know what's in the trees. It could be poison ivy, it could be poison oak, it could be lettuce for all we know <laughs> oh, to make goodness. coleslaw with. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we won't go into that one, but any, anyway, so uh, my top five favorites were well, pretty much uh, when we got on the train and we saw the musicians, you know, those guys playing music, uh, they weren't a band, they were just people on the train that were just uh, playing music just because they were just bored, I guess. And, and the funny thing about it is uh, the conductors didn't even say, they didn't have a problem with that at all. I think they were, like, dancing around too a little bit. You could see them <laughs> yeah, in the background dancing. Uh, let's see, what else was my favorite? Well, I have more than five, but I'll just keep it at five. Uh, Number two would have been probably the Rose Garden, just because I'm not a huge basketball fan, but but just the fact that WWE was there, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, and the fact now that we were there, yeah. it's pretty cool. Number three, I'd have to say the the film museum for sure, because uh, uh, it was very cool, and you guys got to see what it looks like. And number four, I would definitely say, well, Astoria Column, just because it, even though it was an adventure for us, but it made it worth it. We got to walk a lot today. Probably put more miles on our feet today than we have all on vacation. And then of course with number five, which is pretty much actually literally number one, obviously coming here and hanging out the uni house and Dana's house and it'd be nice to talk to my good friend Jim Fuller that lives right over here, but I don't think he's I don't know if I should bug him or not. <laughs> he might say, get out, get out. No, he, he was a nice guy when I talked to him back in 2008, but uh, we don't want to bug him, though. But he lives over this house, so. So anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this documentary. A lot of work and time and effort has been, and money, not to mention, has been put into this, make this whole thing possible. 
Uh, I don't know what we're going to do next, but uh, whatever it will be will be exciting, I'm sure. We're going to have a good summer, a lot of good things coming up, and there's this, oh, there's one thing that we got to do. I mean, we're here at the at the Goonie house, but, you know, we're in Astoria, where, you know, the Goonies made everything popular, and there's one thing that, we, oh, it looks like it's on fire there. Anyway, there's one thing that we got to do that, uh, you know, would be foolish of us if we didn't. We gotta whip it out. I mean, <laughs> whip, whip these out. What, are you, what were you thinking? Jeez. <laughs> you, you scary audience here. We gotta whip out a baby Ruth. I think it's only fair. It's only fair. We got, where, where did we get these at? The, do you remember where we bought these at? Oh, we ended up getting it uh, at the Goonie film. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. They were all like, what, 89 cents or whatever? Yeah. So, we're gonna, we're gonna crack open one of these and... I'm gonna open mine. <laughs> I know I can, I can barely tie my own shoes, but yet I have him open my, <laughs> open my uh, baby Ruth bar, as a way to celebrate what we have accomplished, a four, literally probably over five hour documentary. I know what you're thinking. It looks just like well, it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's a candy bar for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll let him away from my to get this open. <laughs> Uh, do you need help, Mike? Do you want nope, me to help? <laughs> okay, well, anyway, I don't know how we're going to do this, but it wouldn't be the end of a documentary without us enjoying a baby Ruth. So, cheers to everything, cheers to us, and more success in the future. Thanks for watching the documentary. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>